guys, so today I want to try out Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I want to give you guys a look. I want to also review it, give you some swatches. So if you guys want to see, keep on watching. Let's open this. I'm so excited for this, you guys. Like, obviously I saw all the colors, what's going to be in it. So that part's not a surprise. Wait. You guys, hold up, hold on. This is suede. This is a suede covered palette. I did not know that. Ooh, guys, what? So that's cool. One point for that. One thumbs up for that. Oh my god, you guys, I love this. I love this. Look at the arrangement of colors. Look at those two pinks. Look at the orange. We got some glimmer shades. We got some berry shades, some neutral shades over here. Y'all, I'm so excited to play with this. So, one thing I love about ABH's eyeshadow palettes, they always come with a brush. And it's a legit brush. I'm excited to play with that. Oh my god, you guys. Let's swatch it first, shall we? Alright, so I'm first going in with tempera. Mind me of tempera. Wow! This is freaking pigmented. Wow, that is creamy. Okay. Next, golden orange orchard. Wow. It's a good blending transition shade because didn't really show up too well. I'll show you guys after I swatch it. These are the top seven shades. Can you guys see that? Ugh. Okay, so we first have Tempera. Then we have Golden Orchard, which you guys, I said, was kind of, you can't really see on my skin. So it'll be a good transition shade. Then we have um, Vermeer, which has got a little sheen glitter to it. Oh my God. I don't think I did this right. <laughs> so bear with me. And then we have Bruin Fresca. Which is a pinky purplish shade. A similar color to the eyeshadow palette. And then we have Antique Bronze. And then we have Love Letter. And then we have Cypress Umber. You guys, all the colors were so freaking creamy. They're pretty much pigmented. I'm never not impressed by an ABH eyeshadow. Now let's show you the bottom half. This time I will do better. Wow, you guys, look at this. So first we have raw sienna. Then we have burnt orange. It's got a little orange feel to it. It's, a little, it's different. And then we have freaking Primavera. Whoa, we can use it as a highlighter. Do not be scared. Then we have Red Orchard. We have Venetian Red, which is different than Love Letter because Love Letter didn't have any sheen. It's strictly matte, and this one does. I know it doesn't look like it, but it does. And then we have Warm Taupe. And then we have Regular. What? So you guys, a lot of these colors might seem like they look alike, but they don't. They got their own identity. Wow. I'm so ready to put them on my eye and see what look I come up with. So, let's do that. I first want to take Blonde Fresco. Whoa. That's a lot of fallout. And just put it on my crease. Did you guys see that? With a light, light hand. Wow, you guys. Ooh. Let's put a bit more. We are going to um, blend it out, so don't worry. Blend that out a little bit. Just take a your favorite blending brush and just blend it. I'm using the Sephora blending brush, number 27. I'm gonna 
pack on my eyelids with a color. Before we do that though, I want to take some tape and put it in the corner of my eyelids to make the outline a little bit better. To help a sister out, okay? And if you guys haven't tried this, you should. It's fun, it doesn't hurt, and it helps. All right, once you got it aligned, you can continue. So now, let's pack on. I'm thinking I want to pack on Buon, no, not Buon Fresco, we just did that. I want to pack on Antique Bronze, which is this shimmer, pretty, pretty color. So what I like to do before I pack on shimmer I like to get my MAC Fix Plus, wet the brush, and you guys, if you don't know this, wetting the brush helps peck on color a lot. Just getting, pecking on the color. Now let's put it on the eyelid. Lightly pat it. Lightly. It's okay if it starts falling out, because we'll work with that. And try to keep your eyes open and head tilted, so then it won't spread, because we want this to dry. Back on some more. And if you guys can't see me doing this eye so well, you'll see with this eye what I do. Kind of giving it a curve, you know, and lightly packing it. Now I notice there is a lot of fallout in these eyeshadows. A lot, a lot, a lot. So it's kind of clumping when I spray it and put my brush in the eyeshadow. So be careful with that. All right. Once you like it, then you go to the next side. So let's spray again. and lightly press the eyeshadow. You guys see what I'm doing? Just lightly pressing against it. Ooh. So, I had a little more transition shape to kind of blend in a little bit better but I'm feeling a little pink right here lightish pinkish so I'm going to put oh wait there's not a light pink so I think I'm gonna put a little orangey feel to it just to the transition to the top so get your brush and let's do burnt orange let's do a little bit of that let's just put it in the inner corner now you guys, I have no idea what look I'm going for. I'm just kind of, kind of winging it. Um, but I'm just putting it in the inner corner. Kind of want to bring it back, actually. And yeah, do you guys see that? All right, so I want to blend it out because I don't know. I'm like really scared right now. I'm hoping this turns out okay. We shall see though. We shall see. And don't worry about fallout for here. I mean, I personally don't like putting on foundation and concealer until after my eye makeup's done, just because of this reason. So, yeah. All right, so now to just finish it, I wanna put some dark shade in the outer corner. So I'm looking at Cypress Umba. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that at the, at the corner. So I'm gonna get more of a flat brush. Do you guys see? Flat puffy brush. Don't know exactly what it's called um, or the brand. But I'm gonna get that lightly, lightly tap and just put it at the Put the outer B. All 
Uh, give it a little darkness to it, to this look. And if you guys want to put more transition shade, go for it. Because I feel like I just want just a little bit. I'm feeling a little white right here. Just a tiny tad bit. I'm going to take my little tiny, tiny brush from Sephora. I think it's like a travel kit. Um, I'm going to take Vermeer. This one. Lightly pat it in. Just kind of put it just very, very lightly. Very lightly. Put it in the inner corner. Give a little glowiness to it. Do you guys see? You can pat it with your hands, kind of blend it in. Your hands, you guys, are miracle workers. They, because of warmth they have to them, because you know your body's warm, they blend in really, really good. All right, let's hope for the best. Time to take the tape off. Oh. <laughs> okay, I got my Biore makeup wipes and I'm just wiping underneath very carefully to take out the fallout. And see how crisp that line is? Ready to cut up. You know what I mean. Now, I'm gonna put the rest of my face on, but behind the cameras, so I'll be right back. As I was adding the rest of my makeup, I was thinking, I want a bottom color. I want a color on the bottom of my eyelids. So, I'm going to pick, let's see. I'm going to pick Burnt orange first and see how that looks. Can't really see it. So, with that said, I'm actually gonna do red orch. Lightly pack on with a little flat brush. Now, you can shade it out, smoke it out a little bit. See? So it blends in well. And now you can put your favorite mascara on the bottom of your eyelashes. And voila! Here you guys go. Here's the final look. Up close. What do you guys think? Wow! Ah, what do you guys think? Do you like it? I hope it gave you an idea of how to use the modern Renaissance ABH palette. And you guys, that concludes the video. I think my review on this palette is, I mean, it's definitely worth the buy. The only bad thing about this is the fallout. The fallout is real with this palette. So just, all you gotta do is just lightly press when you're pressing on the eyeshadows. And if you happen to get fallout, shake it off so yeah you guys i hope this gave you guys an idea if you guys enjoyed this video thanks so much for watching bye and also btw i'm currently having a giveaway featuring kylie cosmetics if you guys want to learn more about it read check out the description box below